Ah, uh, hello, hello, Farmer Ben here once again. Um, today, just thought we'd do a little bit of an Alliance War raid, um, being as uh, Alliance Wars are up, so now is the time to be doing them. Um, this, as you can see, is my Alliance. We are a, well, we're quite a good Alliance at the moment. We've got quite a few, we had a, a nice influx of extra players, so welcome to them. Uh, Pinky and the Brain is, of course, the Alliance name. Here we are at the top corner. You will see that we are a daily active Alliance. We still have three open slots, so if you are looking for an Alliance, we are, you know, we're a growing Alliance, I think. Um, we're, we're sort of trying to get on. We're very active. We've got a very good team at the moment. Um, very lot of, a lot of very sort of active players, which is more important in Alliance than any, anything else. Anyway, so there's my recruitment pitch done. As I said, you know, uh, the more the merrier. But today we're going to be doing a little bit of a, uh, what do you call it, um, Alliance War. You will see that this is the first half of the Alliance War. I haven't done one of those for a little while. Um, Alliance Wars are always one of those things which are a bit hit and miss. Um, I have a rule of thumb. It's, uh, it's not absolutely guaranteed, but my first rule is, is I always try and take out the enemy team leader. Um, it's kind of just making a statement, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go for it here. Let's see how we get on. I can't pronounce their names. Um, although they appear to have a, what I would have said was a Scottish flag. They're obviously not a Scottish team. Uh, now they have got, let me see, they've got a blue tank. Well, it obviously then makes sense to take a green, one green. I will probably take my two strongest greens because it is the team leader let's see where's my next strongest green there's my next strongest green so i've got two very strong greens i'm quite lucky to have two very strong greens in fact i've got them the wrong way around if you look at it technically uh elkanen is stronger than liana but Lea, that's only because he's had his um what do we call it talent grid leveled up a little bit which is more than most of my five stars has because as i've always mentioned again for my three stars I'm not going to use, uh, because they have sensibly gone with all blue tanks, which is what most sensible alliances do, they coordinate the tanks. Uh, I am going to go for some other colours now. Elena is, the most dangerous thing about Elena really is that she um, throws out that perfect riposte. She does quite a lot of damage, and so I'm going to take Sonia as a, an anti-perfect riposte person. I am going to take a Sabina, who is also a nice anti-perfect repost, and I'm going to think, well, actually, because I'm always going to end up with too many red heroes, I am going to take, um, ooh, should I, which one should I take, Lucy? Which one? Ooh. Lucy, my daughter Lucy has joined us from it. Should I take the lion, the one in the middle, or the one on the end? That one? Okay, we're going to take Mariana, or Marjana, I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. Hello. So Hello. we're going to go in. I have something to show you. Ooh, I made nice. a double decker bike. So, like a double decker place where princesses can go. Top bunk's for the princess, bottom bunk is for the servant. Oh, that's very, so very nice. Double decker. You're having fun with the Lego. Yeah. There we go. So, let's go into the, uh, ra the, uh, like the raid and see how we get on. Are you going to help me with some advice or are you. Um, you going to play. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I don't blame you. Let's see. Let's see. So, do 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 do. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go for a purple move, which I know won't trigger. A, uh, I'm a great believer in trying to get uh, combos on the opening few moves. Um, that one obviously didn't trigger a combo, but it did sort of open them up a little bit. Um, I know Sonya's quite quick on her mana. This, oh, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but there we go, because that would mean he goes off. Boom! Does me a bit of a nasty turn. Uh, I'm going to be aiming for Mother North. Mother North is, of course, horrible, um, with her, what with her bringing people back to life skill, which she does too quickly. Um, and she's also very tough to kill. She's very, sort of got very, very high health. Um, oh, maybe I should have finished off thinking of me, Bob. I could do with, let's see, I could do with finishing off, uh, what's his name in the centre there, Thorn. Not, oh, actually, I probably, do I need to worry? No, I'm going to fire this, I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to fire this off at Mother North, because I'd rather get rid of her sooner than rather than later. I'm going to hope this is enough to kill Thorn. It is. I'm going to go with Elkanen can hit, um, what's her name as well? Liana can finish off Mother North. So Mother North is done. Excellent. Now I haven't got a yellow, so firing a ton of yellows into Thotham. 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 
can't even talk today. Uh, sulfur Moon is probably not going to help me very much. In the same way as that didn't really help me very much. Um, what have we got? Oh, Attack Boost. Attack Boost. I can't... Sabina is never going to be ready to save anyone, sadly. Uh, I'm not sure if Sonia will survive the attack by... Uh, what's her name? Um, yes, yeah, love. Going? My memory is going, my darling, yeah. I can't think of anyone's names today. Um, Elena, I think it was. Elena, that sound right? Does that sound right to you, Lucy? Uh, no. No. Maybe it was. No, it was definitely not Leanna. Leanna's my one. Anyway, yes, so I'm, my mind is slipping. My mind is going. It's escaping out the door. But then being sane is, is as I always say, is a little bit overrated. Um, now, the most dangerous hero here really is probably Onatel over there in the corner. Um, she has got some pretty good skills as far as she steals mana and what have you, which is annoying, if nothing else. Um... What's his name? Thotha Moon. I can't even pronounce it today. I'm really struggling with my pronunciation today. I do beg of your pardons. Uh, Thotha Moon is not, um, in my opinion, as dangerous as Onatel. Um, I could do with some of my better heroes actually managing to get their mana ready. It does seem that seems to be something they've decided not to do because the screen's not giving me a single green. So my green heroes are just at the moment sitting there like a bunch of lemons. Which is annoying. Really, I need them to get ready so I can actually do something. Here we go. Right, my greens can finally actually have a go. Assuming they don't both die now and Onatel goes off. Bing bong. Oh, one of them's dead. There we are. Brilliant. You see, this is really frustrating. Uh, I got sort of quite a commanding lead, and then bam, that happens. And suddenly my lead is gone, and I'm suddenly staring defeat in the face rather than the easy where well, then the comparatively easy win I was should have been heading for still never mind we will have to see what we can do maybe things will come together well at least she's burning now it's not going to be enough unless she so yeah, got unless I can get my my Yana to go off again but I'm not going to be able to do that before she kills her unfortunately so this one's just going to be a defeat it's not it's going to leave a nice easily sort of team for the rest of my alliance to finish off one half wounded on a tell no healer so I didn't beat their team leader but at least I made a pretty good impact uh, a bit annoyed though if I'd have had just a few more greens come up on the screen uh, towards the end now I would have actually won that um, very frustrating. Anyway, I'm going to pick another team. I'm actually just going to let Auto do it for me. Um, yep, I'm going to take them on. That's fine. Fear not. Actually, they're not very powerful. Normally, I look at the more powerful teams. Um, yeah, let's go for this team. Yeah, they'll do. They'll do. They'll do. Um, very strong team. As uh, before, I will probably be going with a couple of greens. Now, I'm lucky to have a few spare greens to go up with. Uh, I will be going with Cademon and Gadarius, Gadarius, however you want to pronounce him. I will go for a, uh, a Weakener, a Sniper and a Healer. I'll probably go for a Red Healer. Let me just... Oh, actually, no. I'm going to tell a lie. Lady Lock. I just remembered Lady Lock is on that team. Lady Lock is mean. Mean, 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 mean. Nobody likes Lady Lock. So to con counteract Lady Lock, I'm going to take Rigard as one of my healers. And uh, I am going to take, instead of another healer, I'm going to take a... Actually, let's go for a powerful... Mind you, no. Who do I take? Let's go for a red... Oh, reds have I got that I could take? Uh, hmm. I'm going to go for a Khalil as a sniper. Possibly. Let's just double check their info. Two greens. Yeah, that should do me, I think. Uh, no telling how this will go. Obviously, I'm now quite a lot weaker than them. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I'm still really annoyed about that first attack. Just... If, if I'd have got my green, a um, few green tiles a little bit earlier, I would have won. Uh, or, yeah, I would have won. I would have had the, the power ne needed to uh, to break them down, but I didn't. So, right, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Can I see any good opening moves? No. So, let's do that. Oh, bloody. 
So it's just going to be a case of trying to get some tiles moving around the board. Uh, Arthur there, nearly ready to go off, and I still haven't had his... There we are, finally got some green tiles. Sure, it's a yellow board seem to be the thing at the minute, and it's like, it's the only colour I haven't taken, and it's not specifically because I'm anti-yellow or anything. Um, I just chose to take other colours, and I seem to be just being made to regret it at the minute, which is annoying. Um, no two ways about it. Very annoying. Still... There we go, this one's obviously going to be a loss already, I can see that. Uh, if I'm lucky I'll get Arthur finished. Um, yeah, Arthur at least should die if he doesn't kill everyone now. There we go, how frustrating. I'm not going to use uh, Rigard just yet, because mainly because there's some other heroes on their team who are very, very close to going off. Um, Particularly Lady Lock, who, as I say, Lady Lock's biggest danger is her uh, skill does so much damage over time. So I'm going to wait until she's sung her song. Here comes her song. <laughs> See, I'm a beautiful, beautiful singer. And then I can get Rigard to get rid of it. Because if he didn't, then all of my heroes would die in about two turns. Uh, which would be bad. Well, from, from my point of view, it would be bad. I'm sure from the enemy team, it would be great. Um, there we go. So that's finished off her... Really now my only sort of powerful hero is uh, um, Zarnia. Zarnia is a very, very good hero. I'm a big, big fan of Zarnia. Not going to be enough to uh, to turn this one around now. It might be a case in a second. Let's see. Um, yeah, it might be a case of running away to get as many points as I can, whilst I can. Uh, now with... Vivica are about to go off and me down to weaken here as I'm going to hit flee because I think I'll earn more points now than if I carry on playing. So again, another team weakened but not beaten. Quite depressing, really. Let's find an opponent. This time I'm taking a yellow team. I don't, I don't care what they've got. I'm taking yellows because uh, the screen has been just full of yellows. This time I bet you it won't be, but we'll see how we go. Uh, oh, when it's not, he's not you. You're, you're not yellow. So I'm going with him and him. No, actually not going with him. Going with a very powerful yellow team. This will backfire now, of course. There will be no yellows on the screen. Having had two screens full of yellows, I will now get a team without any. Uh, to go without any. I'm going to want debuffers, so I'm going to go with Sabina as one debuffer. And I'm going to go with either Sonia or Cadmon as the other one. Um, there's Sonia, there we go. Let's see how this goes. Bet there's no yellows on the screen this time. Sometimes you get the impression that I may be getting a little bit frustrated with things. Um, and I am. Let's be honest. I am getting frustrated. Bob Wink Blur. Oh yeah, there we are. Look. All the yellows are gone. How handy. Um, so, I've got no greens. I've got no... At least I can open with some purples and some blues. It's a nice opening combo. I'll give it that. Uh, going to hopefully mean I can finish off... Um, Beryl, never a big fan of, as I've mentioned before, I'm never a massive fan of perfect repostors on defence. Um, brilliant on attack, absolutely awesome on attack. Don't rate them particularly as defenders, um, which I know is kind of how they're sold, but actually they're, they're much better at attack when you can um, when you can direct their, their perfect repost and let the computer AI sort of rather foolishly attack them rather than hitting heroes they can actually stop which is uh, the kind of the main thing with them. Um, shaping up quite nicely this raid. I mean, even without as many yellows as I would have liked or as I got the last couple of times, it's not shaping up too badly. So maybe maybe this will be a bit of a change in my luck. I don't know. Uh, here we go. So, boom, pew, 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 Sonia. Now, Sonia is, is still one of my favourite heroes. Uh, she is only a four-star, but at the same time, she is a very reliable, solid four-star who has done me many good turns and did me a good turn there. Uh, Sabina is out. Oh, Sabina. I love you, Sabina. Oh, she's gone. But then so is the, the Domitia, which is, you know, a uh, reasonable exchange. Uh, one of my heroes is blinded. June there. June's another favourite. I mean, he's good. Again, good, good, solid hero. Uh, a good five star, you know, he's, he's one of my faves. I do, as you, well, as you can see, I have him there on my side. But uh, you can see the power of him. The blinding people is a real treat. Um, he's quite a nasty one to fight and a good one to play, uh, to take. So that's often the way if I've got heroes and I'm not sure about them, I think about whether I've, whether, uh, or where I've met them, have I fought them before and how does it feel fighting them? 
Um, and often that then tells me informs my choices as to whether they are a good hero or a bad hero. If I don't like fighting them, then they're probably a hero I would like to have. Um, hmm. Still could just do with some yellows. This is sort of the same problem I was having in the last raid, where I just couldn't get the mana that I needed to the heroes that need it. Um, but I don't think it's going to be as bad as it was last time. Cause, especially because, um, what's his name here? Um, Tarlac. Very good hero. Um, excellent booster. Really excellent booster. But um, not much good on his own. Uh, on his own, he's just reliant on his own attack. He needs to be backing up other heroes. Um, he's a tricky one. I'm not sure I'd ever put him quite right on the flank. I, I don't know. I'm not sure where to see you put him. So there we are. So that was actually my best attack. Uh, and the yellow thing did work out for me in, in my favour. Not awful. Not amazing. I mean, I'm not particularly pleased or dismayed by that. Uh, 153, you'll see that. I, uh, so my alliance hold all the top five spots at the moment, which is good. Um, we've still got plenty to play for, though, at this point. There's lots of players that have not gone. So it remains to be seen whether we can carry this one through or not. We have a lead, but at this stage in the war, it means very, very little. So that is it. Uh, just a little bit of a, a bit of a war for a change. Um, just quickly before I sign off, I'll go around my base and just explain anything else that may be happening. I don't think there's much of excitement, really. Um, so I've gathered up food and iron, uh, as ever. Uh, you'll see that my iron mine, there's my advanced iron mine's up to level 8, so I have one very advanced iron mine producing loads. My iron storage is about to be upgraded, so I think that's level 3? Level, yeah, it's level 2, so at the moment I can store 2335k iron, and upgrading the Hunter's Lodge will require 2341k, so I'd be able to do that after this uh, this upgrade if I want to. I may do, I haven't actually decided, I'll see how much iron I've got stored up um, by the time that building work is done. There is, as well, very importantly, there is a challenge event approaching. The challenge event approaches 16 hours, 56 minutes. We're not entirely sure which challenge event it's going to be. It might well be the Guardians event. That seems to be the sort of current rumour. Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, it, it's all been a bit sort of thrown. I wasn't really expecting... The last one was um, Fables of Grim Forest, and it wasn't what I was expecting. And I always thought I kept a reasonably good sort of eye on what was coming up and what to expect, but... There we go. So on that one, I was caught completely by surprise. Um, just quickly doing this Titan attack because I can. Because I want to. Because I want to. Um, nothing much. Yeah, so here's here's my red dragon. Like all the uh, the dragons, anybody who's got the uh, the giant harpoons will know. Although it only appears to have uh, one one set of eyes and, you know, uh, one tail and whatever else, somehow it magically manages to produce um, thousands of them when it comes to your alliance, getting all the various titan bits you require to make any kind of uh, titan weaponry. Um, I'm going to hope, really, I prefer it. Oh, I got the order wrong there. I'm going to hope. Did she miss? Oh, she missed. I hate it when Asani misses. Really better when she hits the titan, because then the combination of her, Kirill, and uh, Wukong all together can really, uh, really devastate a titan. But there you go, it doesn't always come together. Uh, in, in that occasion, I always try and use her first uh, because I know that her attack will um, weaken the time. I don't know if this will work. This is the trouble. She's got uh, the gambler's stance up, so it may not work. Uh, sometimes she then misses and misses again. No, we've knocked down the shield. So this time you'll see with... Oh, I forgot to boost Kirill. But each one was doing about 3,000 points worth of damage. Um, oh, too late now. The gambler stance has gone. I was going to try and show you the, the, the effect of all three together, but uh, like a fool, I got it wrong. So I do beg your pardon now. Um, yeah, a bit of a rambling video, this one. Um, it's been it's school holidays, and I'm a little bit sort of like blur. But there we go. So the uh, the video is over. Fight is over, 2507. Not a bad score, but not exactly uh, one of my most amazing. Uh, but there we are, folks. Thank you very much for watching. As I say, it's been nice to do a little bit of uh, an alliance war, a little bit of an alliance recruitment. Uh, Pinky and the Brain, remember, we are a good alliance if you want. And to hit a Titan. So all are very good and very exciting at the moment. Uh, it just remains for me to say peace out. May death come swiftly to your enemies. Remember to click subscribe, like. Uh, that little bell which tells you when I've got a new video out. All those exciting things that YouTubers always say um, because that seems to be what YouTubers do. I don't really sort of follow uh, this, this this modern technology, you know. Anyway, there we are. So that's me signing off. Take care now. Uh, Farmer Ben saying goodbye.